Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, May 22nd. We had some technical difficulties with our last upload, so we're going to try again. We'd like to wish a very happy birthday today to Jason Zhao in Ms. Patterson and Ms. Foreman's class. Happy birthday tomorrow to both Math Matthias Anderson and Nicholas Gormanley. And also happy birthday to Namiri Ramirez, also on Saturday. So if you know Nicholas, uh, Matthias, Namiri, and Jason, make sure you reach out to them and wish them a very happy birthday. You all have beautiful weather today and tomorrow for your birthdays. We hope you enjoy the special time with your family and know that we'll all be thinking of you. Today, um, there's a lot that I wanted to do during our morning announcements, and I wanted to start with um, all of us remembering that this weekend marks the ending of Ramadan. We talked about Ramadan earlier. Many of our students are celebrating and honoring Ramadan. So let's watch together and remind ourselves about what Ramadan is. This is the first food 14-year-old Ali and his family have had all day. They haven't had anything to eat or drink since sunrise this morning. It's because they're celebrating a special time of year in their religion called Ramadan. Ali is a Muslim, which means he follows the religion of Islam. During the month of Ramadan, most Muslim people do something called fasting. That means they don't eat or drink anything between sunrise and sunset for a whole month. They can't even drink water through the day. It's pretty tough, but for people like Ali, it's a really important part of his religion. It's just to feel how the poor people feel. You know, they don't get to have a lot of water and food, so that's most of what it's about. Uh, it's a test, yeah. Just like other religions, Islamic people have certain times of the year to celebrate their faith. And Ramadan is one of them. During that month, they spend more time thinking about their religion. Kind of like Christmas or Easter for Christians, or Rosh Hashanah for Jewish people. During Ramadan, Muslim people learn more about the Islamic religion by reading from their religious book, which is called the Quran. And the fasting is to help them focus on that. Each year, Ramadan starts on a slightly different date because the name Ramadan is actually the name of a month in the Islamic calendar. And that calendar is a little bit different because it's based on the cycles of the moon. Although many Muslims don't eat or drink through the day during Ramadan, they do have some extra big meals before dawn and after sunset. Because having no food or water at all for a whole month would be impossible. But even with these big meals, Ali says Ramadan can still be pretty hard. It's a little bit hard, especially if you have, like sometimes we have football games and yeah, we still play, but yeah, we don't drink water. And he and his cousins say going to school can be tricky too. Usually my friends come with these amazing lunches from like different places and then I'm like in the classroom and they're all eating their lunch and recess and I'm led like, you know, waiting for the bell to go and stuff. So just a reminder that Ramadan ends this weekend. And remember, everyone, we welcome all. We welcome everyone to our school, to our community. And part of welcoming everyone means that we get to know um, cultures and traditions that, that many different people honor, especially if we don't know anything about it. We want to ask questions. We want to learn. We want to better understand what some of our friends are experiencing so that we can help and support them and, most importantly, show them that we welcome all to our school and our community. So thank you to Ms. Patterson for sharing that video with us. Um, I know that everyone um, always wants a follow up on Speedy and what Speedy's been up to. So I will get to that in a minute. Before we do that, there's something else that I wanted to share with you. We know we th that we don't have school on Monday, but do we know why? Let's watch together and learn a little bit about why. Justice and Luna in The Meaning of Memorial Day. Hey Luna, what are you reading? Hi Justice, I'm reading about holidays that are celebrated in a country called the United States. Have you heard of them? 
I sure have. The United States is a country on Earth. It's located in North America. I think you'll like this one. Every year, Americans celebrate a holiday called Memorial Day. The holiday is celebrated on the last Monday of May to honor America's fallen heroes. How do Americans celebrate? Many schools and businesses are closed for the holiday. People use the day off to go on vacation, have picnics and barbecues, or attend a Memorial Day parade. What a great tribute Memorial Day is. It sure is. Even though it's a fun time for most, it's also a day to remember. For the first half of the day, Americans will fly the United States flag at half-mast to respect the memories of soldiers who passed away. Families will visit the graves of their loved ones. At the Arlington National Cemetery, the President of the United States will lay a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknowns to honor those who lost their lives. And wherever they are at 3 p.m., Americans will pause what they're doing to observe a moment of silence. I love that. Let's take a moment to remember those who made sacrifices to provide freedom for all. Okay, so that's just a quick reminder of what Memorial Day is and why we celebrate and honor Memorial Day. It's a day where we show respect to those who have fought for our country. So families, I ask that if you, if you are celebrating Memorial Day with your family, students, please ask your family to take a picture. Show me how you are honoring those who have fought for our country. Maybe you're going to visit um, a grave site. Maybe you are making a card. Maybe you are simply flying a flag. Um, but send a picture, send a video, show me how you are honoring Memorial Day. All right, and so we also hope that you all enjoy your day on Monday with your families. As you know, there will be no Google classes going on um, so that we can all together um, enjoy Memorial Day. Now to Speedy. So we know that Speedy um, has been off for a few days and he was back on track yesterday and it looks like today he's back on track again So look with me Here is speedy. It looks like now somewhere along the line. He's picked up a, a knocks on t-shirt He's standing in the doorway. Maybe that's your door. I think probably by now you've found your treat if it is Let's look where else speedy went here. He is nice and up close looks like house number 37 do you have a 37 in your address? If so, run outside and see if Speedy left something special for you. Oh, looks like Speedy's also at the house, the home of a fifth grader by that beautiful sign outside of their house. And let's see, oh, Speedy's somewhere where the family plays sports. I think he wants to work on his fastball using that pitching backstop. Huh? Maybe he'll be playing some sports. And last but not least, here's Speedy. And we see the pinwheel, the American flag, probably out as a decoration for Memorial Day. So, um, you know, we have some special helpers that have been helping Dr. Murray um, with Speedy. And so I really want to thank those people. We'll share at the end of all of this. Um, how Speedy got all around and who was all involved in this special thing that we're doing to try to brighten the days of our students. Um, but for now, I say thank you um, to those of you who you know are helping with Speedy. And students, we hope that he continues to brighten your day if he stops at your house. And if he hasn't yet, maybe he will be coming soon. So thank you to Speedy. Last but not least, this is Field Trip Friday. So on Field Trip Friday today, we have a very special teaching assistant, Miss Hettinger, who is sharing with everyone a place that she really enjoys. Um, so come with me and let's together go check out where Miss Hettinger wants to take us for Field Trip Friday. And you know what I'm going to do, everyone? I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to upload a second video for part two for our field trip. So stay tuned. <laughs> 